Hey folks, Carl Willis here. Uh, with the appointment yesterday of RFK Jr. Uh, as Secretary of Health of the United States, it's as good a time as any, probably a better time, to reflect on the state of quackery in the US. This is the promotion of untested and sometimes dangerous medical remedies. And those of us in the nuclear science and technology world often associate quackery with a particular period in the 1920s and 30s when remedies like this Radithor that contained radium were widely promoted as the snake oil of the day and ended up killing uh, a considerable number of people. Well, radioactive quackery has not gone anywhere. In fact, it's probably expanded today, and that is perhaps a surprise. We're going to look at a few products today that uh, make unproven, untested, and sometimes dangerous claims and are radioactive. The problem isn't so much the radioactivity per se, but the prescribed or recommended mode of use of these items, often which puts them in proximity to your skin or causes you to breathe uh, radon or radioactive particles that they produce. Healthcare quackery in the United States was uh, about a $30 billion annual industry in the early 1990s. And I don't have reliable data more recently than that, but it's probably multi-hundreds of billions of dollars now, which absolutely dwarfs the public funding of biomedical research in the United States. So the question is then, why is there such a proliferation of these untested and sometimes dangerous uh, remedies? And I think the answer lies in our media ecosystem and the fact that we have this um, abundance of social media influencers and uh, just commercial outlets of all types uh, on the global marketplace like Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, um, and so forth, where um, you know these products can proliferate um, at a faster pace than the information that tells consumers that they're actually bad or dangerous. And uh, so unfortunately, we have some very bad uh, information literacy habits in the United States and worldwide that are leading to this resurgence in radioactive and other forms of, of, of quackery.